I would like to show you ADS 200 aerodynamic cleaner. This is the way it pretty much comes to you. You will have all the shoot extensions in complex, as well as all the electric part. It actually comes off and on. It can be actually off. There is some um, fixators over here. We will have an air duct added to it. Okay, let's start. First, we want to make sure air duct is on. For that, you unpack your air duct. And with that said, we're putting it over section here and slide it in. This is it, as easy as that. Uh, before we put air duct, we want to make sure nothing is left inside in that um, air outcome. Each discharge section um, have an extension. To fix an, ex fix an extension, you get the uh, extension and fix it with the bolts. One and two. And you fix it, okay? And so on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All of them. Once we have all the shoot extensions on, the machine is prepared for work. Now I'll show you another trick. To redirect the flow of your grain to another side, all we need to do is just slide each of the extension out. We go around and put it back in. Just slide it in. This way we can take good grain from section two, three, and four to one side, to one auger, and the rest, let's say unwanted or uh, clean out dockage section, let's say last one or two last one sections, we can put to another side and to another auger. Depending on crop, you can do a different configuration of all these discharge sections, but what we have now, I wanna explain you how it works. The number one shoot is designed for heavy mixtures or for rocks, uh, heavy impurities. So let's say in wheat, it would be, let's say, chickpeas or some rocks or large grasshoppers, something like that. Section two, three, four, and five, they redirect it to another side. That's your growth grain, and they're gonna go in one auger and get stored or go directly to semi truck and go to elevator for sale. If you wanna keep some seed, you can prepare seed material out of section two and three. That's your largest and plumber's grain. Last two sections usually are uh, your dockage or the smaller puny grain or maybe some diseased grain and that can go to another auger or whatever you know you prefer, cart or you name it. So with that said, you can uh, pretty much accomplish any results you would like to for grain either storage or direct sale. Now I wanna show you the option we have, um, it's wheels. They can give you opportunity to push unit around your barn or your facility, your farm. It's not for long transportation, but some uh, around your area that pretty easy to push it around. So the set of four wheels for small machines are optional. Also, there is a such accessory as a net. I'll show you how we use it. We place it over air duct, just like this. What we use it for? Okay, once machine is working, there is a lot of chaff, pieces of straws, insects, all the light impurities coming out from air duct, and they are gonna create a huge mess around your cleaning site. So this net allows you to keep your site clean and nice. Only some dust gonna come out of the net, but all the large impurities you can easily collect within that net and place it over some kind of card and um, keep your site clean, just like that. Once we have all the accessories assembled, we can turn the machine on. For that, we wanna make sure the emergency button is unplugged. We use 220 single phase. Their cleaner comes to you with a wire, but without plug. So you prepare the plug you use um, at your facility and just place it over the wire we have. 
Okay, so once you plug it in, you uh, make sure emergency button is off. You turn the machine on. As you can see, the light is on. And now we turn on the switch for the speed. And as you can hear, the airflow started. We can play with airflow, bring it up, just like your switch in your car for the radio. And turn it down. So now anything as sweet and smaller, we start cleaning with speed around four or five. And everything larger like peas and then uh, beans, soybeans, corn, and then chickpeas, we start with the six and up, higher up. So we fine tune that. So once the cleaner is on, you want to start feeding the machine. And machine is fed through the hopper up here. Once the minimum level is reached up here, you will start opening the hopper and feed the cleaning chamber. For that, you loose up this handle and move the hopper handle. You can open your hopper any desirable level halfway, all the way, depending how quick you want to clean. Any time you need to have an emergency stop, all you need to do, just push the emergency button and machine will stop right there.